Another kind of factoid question is about catalysts. The SAT loves asking about the action of catalysts, and this question will nicely review all the things you pretty much need to know about catalysts. Uh, which of the following statements is true about catalysts? Well, A, they increase the value of the equilibrium constant. Well, no, that's not true. So the equilibrium constant, that's your KEQ or your KA or your KSP, whatever it might be, it's K, right? It's, your, it's the ratio at equilibrium of the products to the reactants. The only thing that can change this is temperature. So if you change the temperature, you'll change the value of the equilibrium constant. Uh, how you'll change it depends on the actual equation, but it changes only with temperature. So uh, adding a catalyst is not going to do that. They increase the amount of product present at equilibrium. This is kind of another way of saying uh, changing the KEQ. Because when the KEQ changes, that means you're changing the ratio of products to reactants, which means you're changing how much product is going to be there at equilibrium versus how much reactant. Uh, so again, only with temperature. They increase the concentration of the, of the reactants. Nope, I mean, it, maybe it could happen depending. Well, no, no, I think it ever could happen. Anyway, yeah, so basically not going to happen. Catalyst does not do this. It doesn't affect the concentrations of reactants or products directly. It just does something to the rate of reaction, which we're going to talk about in a second. They are permanently altered as the reaction proceeds. Another factoid to remember, they are not. Catalysts are not consumed in the reaction. So if you've got some reaction uh, where, let's say, you have palladium metal as a catalyst, the palladium before and the palladium after is the same. It's not actually used up. So you can, in theory, use it again and again and again. It's just a tool that helps speed up the rate of reaction. So a catalyst speeds up the rate of reaction. The rates of reaction. Um, e, they reduce the activation energy of the reaction. Yes, so how it speeds up the rates of reaction is by this. It lowers the activation energy. So if you remember this oops, activation chart, let's say for an exothermic reaction like this, this is the energy of the reactants. This is the energy of the products. So note it's an exothermic reaction because we have this change in energy from start to finish. But to get there, we have to go over this hump. And this hump is your activation energy, your Ea. And it's this that prevents a lot of reactions from happening. If you don't have the temperature or the conditions right, you're not going to be able to get over this hump. Now what a catalyst does is it lowers this hump. So maybe it lowers it like that. So now it's much easier to get over that hump to get over to the other side. And that's basically how a catalyst works. And notice it, do, it lowers the rates of reaction for both directions. So if I go from products to reactants, it's lower. And additionally, if I go from... Uh, all right, reactants to products is lower. If I go from products to reactants, it's also lower, right? Because the hump is lowered for both sides, so to speak. So E is true, and these are the facts you definitely want to remember. Catalyst can't change the equilibrium constant. Doesn't really affect the concentrations of anything. Uh, it is not permanently altered, so it stays the same throughout the entire reaction, uh, and it reduces the activation energy of the reaction. That's how it speeds it up.